Hi, so now we are going to study data addressing modes in the microprocessors. So what are data addressing modes? So addressing modes or the data addressing modes is a way of specifying data given by an instruction. So this means that essentially addressing modes are used to specify the data which are given by an instruction. So indeed we are going to first study about what exactly is an instruction and we are going to figure it out what are data addressing modes and why actually uh, we need data addressing modes, right? We are going to answer that question also. So the first thing is what are instructions? So instructions are just some lines of codes which are written to perform some operations on the data. Right, so we indeed want to perform some operations on the data and we know that these instructions are executed by the microprocessor and these instructions can modify some data or can uh, change this data or it can even flow the data from one place to another. So let's start with a very simple instruction to understand what is an instruction and basically we are going to write instructions in microprocessor using assembly programming. So we will use assembly programming to, uh, to write the instructions such that the microprocessor can directly execute it. So let's see the very first type or a very simple microprocessor instruction which is the add instruction so add is a is a specified keyword it is a inbuilt keyword which is used to add the contents of the registers or some data so let's suppose we have two registers ax and bx we have already seen that these are the uh, general purpose registers and we can store some data in these right so Let's suppose AX, we know that AX and BX both are 16-bit registers and they can store 16-bit data. So what this add, it, it is basically an operator and what it, it does is it adds the contents of AX and BX and after adding the contents, it will store the contents inside the AX register. One important thing is that AX and BX both are also known as operands so we will use this term operands which means that we are actually performing operation on these operands so this add instruction can be generally written as ax plus bx so we are adding the contents of the register ax and bx and we are storing it inside the ax register so this is a very general form of how an, an instruction looks like and you can see that basically instruction performs operations on the data. Now see there are various ways in which we can specify the data. I'm, I'm going to give you a very simple example for this. So let's suppose I write a very simple operation which is 1 plus 2. Here 1 and 2 are the operands and plus is the operator. So in this we have 1 and 2 as the data. So 1 and 2 are the direct data. We are giving the direct data and this will give me the output 3. Now instead of giving direct data what I can do is I can also store 1 in some variable a and 2 in some variable b and I can write a plus b. That will also give me 3. So in this case, we are specifying the data which is stored in some other variable instead of directly giving it, right? So there are uh, a lot of ways to specify how the data is. It can be a direct data or we sometimes call this data as an immediate data. So in the instruction, we can directly write the immediate data and we can also write the registers that we are writing. So on the basis of how we can specify data, there are a lot of ways to specify data. Data is uh, sometimes it is stored inside a memory location. So we will have to provide the memory location in the operands. 
So there are a lot of ways to specify data. So in data addressing modes, the very important task is to specify the data given by an instruction. So let me write one more very important instruction, which is the move instruction. And we will see this instruction in the further coming tutorials. We will also discuss a lot of different instructions that are there in the microprocessor. So this move instruction is, uh, it moves the contents of the BX register or the destination register. This is also the destination register and moves, it moves the contents to the AX register. So it is, a, uh, you can say it is a data movement type instruction. There are some more instructions, for example, ZOR operation or exchange operations, which is used to swap the values. And basically, we will study a lot of different types of operation uh, instructions. So before uh, actually moving on to write the instructions in assembly programming, we will first have to understand what do we need to provide in the operands. Should we provide the immediate data or should we provide some register or there are uh, other ways to do that. So in the next tutorial, we are going to study the first type of data addressing mode which is the register addressing we will study how register addressing specifies data in the next tutorial so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching